fish can we get on Dar's head? One, two, three. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a good pair of fish. You got it, buddy. This is all you. One, two, three. There you go. Come here, Dar. Come here. Show me what you got. Come on. Come on. You know where it's at. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, Mer. Get out of the way, my man. biggest male that we have so so you can see all that is right in his throat these guys are scavengers so that means that if they see a pile of food in their mind instinctually they need to fully fill up because they don't know when they're gonna get the next meal they're in captivity they're fine they get the meal way too often but in his mind he goes he's going I gotta eat it all I gotta eat it all 
I don't know when the next time I'm gonna get a jumbo shrimp, uh, octopus, and a pair of fish in the same landing. So that's why he literally was like, ah, I gotta get it all. Now he'll swallow. He swallowed all the way, basically. So it's all right here. What he do, what he'll do is he'll contract his muscles a little bit at a time. Sometimes when they have a large piece of meat, they'll literally go back and forth. So they'll go here, contract this muscle, it brings it over here, contract this muscle, contracts, contracts, and it keeps on bringing it down. So you can see he's literally so he's like. Still swallowing a little bit, which is great, which is fine, we don't care. Take your time, man. You're in captivity. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to fend yourself off with different things. Also, while he's eating in the wild, there's other stuff happening. <laughs> he doesn't have the luxury of getting to have me being like, hey, eat up. Here, man, you can't eat this chicken. You want another? Here, actually, I got this fish. I don't know what the heck this is. It's ugly. <laughs> Look at his little face. Look. Okay, do you want it? And I think that shrimp is like, He's like, oh, going for a fish again. I think that shrimp sometimes is all with a little, um, little do the bobs on it. Sometimes I feel like he's like, oh yeah, look, it's still. Okay, you want some of this fish, whatever this fish is? Or what are we thinking? Ooh, he says, nah, I got a taste of chicken. I'm gonna eat my chicken. Let me line it all back up for him. Yummy dum dums. So funny though that we put him up and he was like, ah, I love the squid. I love the, what do you eat first? The octopus and then the jumbo shrimp and I think a squid too maybe. Is your squid still there? Oh, oh man, okay, chill, chill, chill. Um, so these guys are actually from the same place that uh, reticulated pythons are from. A lot of times when they'll go and scavenge, a lot of times they'll also go for the eggs of the reticulated pythons. Only it's literally in design, which is so beautiful, that a lot of different animals have so many eggs and so many offspring, simply because nature is so wild. <laughs> They're only accounting for a third of them to even survive. All kinds of different animals. Um, or within the incubation. Ooh, going two at a time. This guy's one of the bigger predators for particular python eggs. So it's also a lot of times you'll see us where we'll be like, if you see like my dad's videos or something where we have infertile eggs, he goes, ah, oh, perfect, we'll feed these to the monitors. This is the one that we're feeding. Huh, buddy? You're the dude, huh? I don't feel like anybody wants this fish. Do you want it? Yeah, there you go. Look, it's, oh. And just slid right down like a big old fat noodle. Ooh, I'm gonna get a pair of fish. You got it, buddy. This is all you. One, two, three. There you go. Good job. And she gone. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> come on, dude. He doesn't last. He goes, yo, that's gross. Those are sardines. Actually, I know these are sardines. Ew, those are baby, baby fish. Who knows? Okay, cutie. Thank you for eating with us. I didn't eat anything, but it was fun watching you eat. It was fun watching you eat. Have a good day.